Hello and welcome to the devotion for Thursday, October the 25th, entitled, Who You Servin'? Now, Sunday morning, as we were looking at pop culture through the guise of rock and roll, we were talking about the that pop culture constantly is trying to make us feel like we don't have enough. We, we have to get this other gadget or gadget or some tech toy or uh, we've got to wear a certain type of clothes or we've got to be able to be a part of this type of group or we've got to drive this kind of car or what whatever that is. And it's constantly drawing us toward what one of the Ten Commandments said, we should not covet what we don't have. We should be happy with what we have, even as we strive to uh, uh, walk uh, in a greater provision. But we don't covet. We don't go, oh, I've got to have that or I can't be happy. But you know, I was thinking about the Ten Commandments, and on the same topic, I thought about the first commandment. You shall have no other gods before me. No other gods before me. Now, living in America and not living in the first century when there were idols and temples to pagan gods all over everywhere, it might be easy enough for us to say, well, there are no idols. I don't even know where an, I could find an idol. How in the world am I going to have another God before the Lord God? But we would be wrong because although an idol would be another God, anything that becomes more important in our life than God is coming before God. It is a God before God because We are a servant to whoever we serve. In fact, Jesus said that. In Matthew 6, 24, he said, No one can serve two masters. He will either hate one and love the other, or he will be devoted to one and despise the other. And then he says this, You can't serve both God and money. Now, I believe we can interchange money with anything that would be a possession. Can't love God and power or God and fame or God and whatever else is more important to me than God. I can't serve two masters. If I'm going to serve the almighty dollar or I'm going to serve my ego or I'm going to serve uh, whatever the other thing may be, God is no longer first in my life. Now, it's really interesting. Josh is going through a mentor program right now. And uh, one of the things that he was asked to do about his job is he was asked to write down his priorities. What is the most important to him about his ministry and about what he does? And so they made this list of what is most important in his family and, and all the things to go, these are the most important things. And then after that task was finished and turned in, The next job was, now take that list back and match that up with how much time and money you spend on each one of those priorities. And what he quickly found out is that his time and money, the two commodities that we use to invest in life, were not in the same order as his priorities. And I believe every single one of us would find that same thing. I believe If we were to ask, are there anything more important to me than living my life the way that God would have me to live? Every one of us are going to be challenged to take a serious look. And so that's what I'm going to ask us today. What gains my attention, my time, my resources, my finances, my uh, uh, attention, my thoughts, all of that? Where does the majority of that time go? And the question is, if God is the Lord of my life, do those things sync up with that declaration? Does God really inform the way that I have relationships? Does he inform the way that I conduct myself as a business person? Does he lead the way that I spend my finances? Does he guard the way I speak to my wife and my children? If he is Lord and his word leads my life, it should be congruent with every other priority in my life. So I'm going to pray now, and I want us to seriously consider, is there congruence? Is he truly the Lord of all, or is there something that has slipped up and become more important? Is there a place where I'm missing that ability to make him Lord? first. 
Father, we just ask. Lord, no one's going to grade this paper but you. No one's going to look at these answers but you. Father, I ask that you would help us to take a deep soul-searching look and to go, are my priorities in line with what I say they are? And who am I serving? Are you Lord of all? Or are there other things that have come before you in the way that I conduct my life and my attitudes and my relationships in my business? Are you Lord? Lord, as we ask, who are we serving? Show us our heart. Show us our life in a way that doesn't condemn, but that enlightens so that we can make sure our priorities are healthy. Do that work in and through us in Jesus' name. Amen. We'll take some time. Think it through. Make the change. I'll talk to you tomorrow.